All right, so now in this follow along, what we're going to do is learn about chaining outputs from a sub module because this is something that uh, really shows up a lot in the exam. And so uh, even though we're not into the module section of our follow alongs, we have to kind of learn how to create a module or a sub module, I should say. So what we're going to do here is create ourselves a new folder. And I think that uh, it generally likes it if you do call them sub modules, you could technically name the folder whatever you want. Um, but that's what I'm going to call it. And within there, I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to call it main.tf. And so what we can do is take any of our code that we like and throw it into that module. I'm going to um, grab the instance here. And actually, while this is going, I just want to go ahead and destroy our instance here um, that we were running before. Oops. Uh, destroy, auto approve here. And um, yeah, T2 micro, I, it's because I it wants it every time, even on a destroy, which is totally fine. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our instance and we're gonna really end up with basically nothing in this file here, um, but I'm going to go and um, go into this sub module here and basically grab everything, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there. And so basically this specifies everything that we want, but we need to pass, we want to get these outputs and reference them in our main TF here. So the way we're going to do that is we don't have these resources here anymore. So I can just take these out and I can take this out here. And what I can do is I can just say module and I'm gonna just say uh, AWS server and I'm going to then specify the source. So the source is going to be in sub modules and we'll do uh, forward slash forward slash here. And probably it would have made more sense if I named this something like AWS. So I'll just say like AWS server. I've already changed my mind. Okay, cause it didn't make sense. Like I had to make sub modules and maybe folders within that and I just didn't really wanna move all that around. And so if we want to reference this one here, it's gonna just start with module and then the name of the module here and then the resource. And so that should uh, get us that value. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit sensitive. And so I believe that this should work. So we'll do a Terraform plan here. The module's not yet installed, so we'll do Terraform init, fair enough. Great, and so we'll do a Terraform plan and we'll see if that's gonna work. Now, we technically have to give that module an input. And so see, it's expecting that input to have instance type. So what we'll have to do here is specify instance type. And I guess we'll just try T2, um, T2 micro here. Let's see if it likes that. So we have another issue here, unsupported attribute um, in the output module, AWS server, AWS instance. My server is a object known after apply. This object does not have an attribute named AWS instance. Um, I think I might need to specify, oh, sorry, we just want the outputs. So this is actually, we don't want to reference it this way. We just want to uh, get whatever the outputs is. So we just do outputs here, okay? Because it, we can't access the AWS instance that way. It just doesn't make sense. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit apply again here. And so here it says, object does not have that. Maybe it's just output. And that doesn't work. So just give me a second, I'll be back, okay? All right, so I pulled up the documentation and here it says, you know, I don't need to put the word output or outputs. I don't know why I thought I had to do that. And so I should just be able to do this. So let's see if that works here. See if we're in good shape. Okay, so to reduce risk of accidentally exporting sensitive data that was intended, Terraform requires that any root module output containing sensitive data be explicitly marked as sensitive if you do intend. So it's not our intention to uh, mark it as sensitive. So I'm gonna just say sensitive false. It says line nine, so. Let's run that again. 
Not sure if it's in our other one here. I don't think so because it's line 28, eh? Oh, sorry. Okay, so we had we had it in the other one. So we'll just take it out. Okay, and we will run that there. Cool. And so let's go ahead and just deploy that to make sure our submodule works. Terraform, uh, apply, auto approve. But yeah, throughout the course, you'll we'll, you'll see that we're going to be repeating some things because you know it's impossible to show you chaining outputs without covering how to build out submodules. But we'll just have to do some variants down the road there. But yeah, I just want to make sure that this works as expected um, and that we get an output. Um, so I'll see you back here when it's done deploying. Okay. All right. So after a short little wait there, you can see that uh, we have our public IP address, and so that is coming from our submodule. So that's all in good shape there. So what we can do is go ahead and just destroy this instance. I'm just going to double check to see if the next tutorial requires it. We technically covered local values earlier, but I guess we could cover them again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just destroy that instance. So we'll just say apply, destroy, auto approve. Um, Got to type it right. Two P's? <laughs> there we go. Okay, great. And I'll see you in the next video.